when you're contesting mid on offense you almost never want to contest it from this side when you peek you generally want to peek from this side so here's what it looks like for whatever reason there's this huge influx of deaths ramen side and this huge influx of deaths male side from this sewers fight and from this ropes fight respectively so you generally want to be the sewers peeker when you're um contesting mid just the way the numbers uh the numbers work out possible this is because not many people peek from sewers regardless of the number of deaths here and here if you purely look at the statistics the sewers peeker in these fights that are measured there's lots of them still they win more often than they lose if you enjoy the content don't forget to like subscribe and join my official discord over at discord.gg woohoojin here you can enter free raffles to win free VOD review live on stream. You can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Enjoy the video. I'm going to tell you guys real quick how to play split because this map is about to come back into rotation. The split changes are very straightforward. So the map is not going to be drastically changed in the way that it, the patterns are like applied overall. So try to think of split sort of like Pearl where threatening some late mid lurk on offense is really powerful and retakes are really powerful if you can ensure they don't plant in an optimal location. So what do I mean by that? If you're on defense and the enemy team is planting like default like this, you generally want to let them plant because this plant sucks. This plant sucks and retake on splits quite easy if the bomb is planted in an angle like this as defense your goal is to stop them from planting out in the open somewhere exposed to heaven and even worse exposed to main and heaven so you don't want to let them plant here but if they're trying to plant default you let them and the retake becomes very simple because you util dump back site and then you defuse the bomb is once they're not back site, like you raise nade or omen flash, and this is one of the reasons raise is super meta, her nade can basically clear out this whole spot. You just defuse the bomb and they have to peek from this tiny choke. So a lot of the time split turns into this fight for mid control because of that condition. Because when you have heaven control as like the defenders, they're almost forced to plant behind that box, which is lit. If they plant behind that box, you're chilling because the retakes are just super in your favor. It's very similar to Pearl in that there's this mini game in plant location at play where if you happen to get the bomb in these green zones or you happen to get the bomb out like in the open here your round conversion increases dramatically because these late mid lurkers become a huge threat for the attackers and inversely if you end up getting forced to plant the bomb in this type of area or in this type of area the attackers win rate goes down drastically because now you're forced to play very suboptimally. This mid lurker can't see the bomb. This guy can't see the bomb. You're almost forced to play in this type of area. Here you have to stay like on site almost. And it's very difficult. Split has the same type of mini game. You want to allow the enemy team to plant if they're planting like these types of safe angles that aren't exposed to these heaven lurks. And you want to play for retake. And alternatively, if they're planting in the open, you want to try to deny that. And on offense, you want to try and plant in the open and get these late mid lurks going. Now let's get more into nitty gritty. Call outs, this is ramen. Oh, uh, sorry, this is mail. This is ropes. This is box. This is ramen. This is frog. And this is sewers. When you're contesting mid on offense, you almost never want to contest it from this side when you peek. And I'm going to get to that in a moment. You generally want to peek from this side. I can't give you like a tactical reason why, but the statistics don't lie here. Statistically speaking, this guy wins these duels way more often than this guy. That's just what the heat map says. So I highly encourage you, if you're contesting mid, to route to this side when you peek out to fight. You do not want to be peeking out from ramen. I think it just happens to be everyone's like gut instinct is to like contest ramen this way. And then by the time you like swing out mid, it's really awkward and difficult for them to place on your head because there's two head heights, right? This is close and far. While here, it's almost certainly just one. Heat map, is that something your head is something we can see? Uh, you can get that data from runitback.gg. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the heat map. You already know I'm always good for the links. I'm always good for the proof chat. So here's what it looks like. For whatever reason, there's this huge influx of deaths ramen side and this huge influx of deaths male side from this sewers fight 
and from this ropes fight respectively so you generally want to be the sewers peaker when you're um contesting mid just the way the numbers uh the numbers work out possible this is because not many people peak from sewers regardless of the number of deaths here and here if you purely look at the statistics the sewers peaker in these fights that are measured there's lots of them still they win more often than they lose so contesting this mid control is really important and on offense you really want to do it slowly so you know how on pearl you'll stay tucked back mid and chill and it's really hard for the other team to flank out on pearl when you do that on split it's the same idea it's exacerbated like tenfold on split you're almost never gonna see someone try to flank down mid because it's impossible like when you come here look at all of this danger 180 degree danger that's so hard so the worst thing you can do is give up control of this like deep mid area and teams will try to contest it they may fade suck nade you they might flash so keep in mind as long as you have control of this space on offense then you're chilling moving into like the middle phase of the round where you're going to try and plant in the open so this whole mini game and i'll pull up odds is this mate late mid lurker has to try and pressure heaven to a degree where you can get the plant out in the open and this guy can stay alive like if he gets a kill then he really wants to stay alive until it's like diffuse time and we're gonna go watch some gameplay right now so you can see what i'm talking about pay attention to the mini map not how much of a fragger tens is please yeah i think we just i think we just send is walling mid is sage good yes generally is quite strong especially now that the skill jump has been removed whoa what a satchel so notice the heavy pressure from heaven here one default late 80. and now they have a numbers advantage but this plant is really suboptimal plant's really suboptimal and you're gonna see now these players are forced to stay on site can you swing right with me three two one because they have numbers is pretty fine it's kind of like when you have numbers on bind and you're uncomfortable planting like here because of flankers or whatnot and you just plant in the tube and you hold the site that's fine when you have a numbers advantage oh and here you see i don't know at what point this propagated into high level radiant play but these players just know peak suicide oh funny angle time if uh, you're facing a team that can test a main a lot which is really common on this map stand on this corner of this plant right here an ads like this this is a headshot right here and for them it's really weird they're peeking and looking at head high here but your head's here this is your head they're aiming here so you're way up there isn't that changed no i don't believe the plant has changed they made this part wider this angle should still be here though this plant is still here this corner here on my right is just going to be further to the side which is fine because i'm using this far corner as my cover I'm intentionally making sure that I see that corner out here. So I've got angle advantage. If I swapped it like this, now I have angle disadvantage. I want that corner visible. So the existence of this corner doesn't really matter. And it's going to be moving a bit over this yeah. way, which is fine. What happened? I'm heaven, I'm heaven. You can heaven. Okay, you hear the calm? I'm planning for heaven. I'm planning for heaven. You can say heaven. That's like the bread and butter of this map. You have heaven control. You plant the bomb for heaven. And then you lurk. These heaven players, you're about to see them try this. Maybe not here because they're winning hard, but you're going to tuck like ramps. You don't want to get cleared. You want them to come out and go defuse the bomb and then use your height advantage. You may even see like somebody hiding ropes like real far back and then they come up super late into the round. I'm it. You just stay there, Wait, he... And now you heard, I think you just stay there, Killjoy. Look where they worked her up to. Oh, Maybe you could walk out and kill the heaven guy. Wait, I just needed to close Wait, Maybe you can walk out, kill the heaven guy. So they're trying to yeah, keep her tucked. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to astral? I'm gonna still wall right side then. Just let me know. You should yeah. break it. You yeah, wall, wall, wall. Noise, actually. Well, so walling right. So walling right. 40, 40, 40, 40. I made it. I made it. Oh, I made it. And now see the middle game part I was talking about. This Astro Wall is pressuring these guys to drop down from heaven so that they can deny the plant. And so this Killjoy is already intuitively trying to take this space. She's trying to avoid getting fights. And yeah, she did it too fast. Uh, these Radiant players were aware and they cleared it. 
So if she stayed tucked a bit longer, she probably could have uh, won this like little mini game that's going on in split. And now it's tricky. So they're denying plants in the open here. And we lose the round because our mid lurker died. Notice where tens routes when he wants to contest mid. He's on sewer side because he's got some good analysts working for him. Oh, funny angle, funny angle. Um, if the, you know the enemy team like contest mid a lot, you hop on this corner of this box right here. You inch over and you hold this way. These kills are free. No, I think there is. Like, the meta on this map could be so wild. It's hard to tell, so I'm not going to like predict. But the reason why you might not need like a Sentinel other than Sage. Sage is sick on this map is these flanks are really uncommon. So you don't really need flank watching util. And like all of these new agents have come out. I think Harbor could be very strong potentially and like fade. It is really tricky to say because the game has over, changed over. so Straight much. At this time, only Sova was in the game for recon initiator. You have to understand. And Sova was sucks on split. Because Split has all of these roofs, so there's no lineups. There's like no good darts. But now Fade exists. She could be pretty decent, especially paired with Raze. Fade was infinite, really? Fade power release date. Are you sure? Oh, you're right. You're right. Like one month. One month. Oh, did we get a good plan? I think he's planning in a smoke or something. But you can see when we're in numbers disadvantage, notice the greed. If he plants back site or on site here it's simply a guaranteed loss because you can't hold the site in that scenario so he notices he has this late sage who might be able to come ramps and get heaven control and so that's the win condition for the round so he's trying to plant in the open and sage is playing really slow trying to find this timing i see the calm planted for heaven oh it feels bad feels bad Feels bad. No heaven control. Are they up? Walled out. Yeah, they're up. I love Sneal, bro. So they start the plant. And look. Tens comes out to ensure that they're not trying to greed the plant for heaven. And then he's like, okay, good. I can let them plant. It's fine. Not like he had any choice, but I guess he could have tried double satcheling. Right? And he's still sus of this really late mid lurker that I was talking about. Mm, yes. Killjoy for sure. Killjoy raise. Yeah. He's trying to bait that guy to come up. So he's making noise, shooting, acting like, yep. Okay, mid lurker, I'm coming out. Time for you to take this space. But then he's like, okay, but not really. Where are you? Where are you? Give me this kill. Tried fake reloading too. Yup. Yup. He's really trying to get that mid lurker to show up. I don't even know if there was one, but that's the mini game at play. So this is again, statistically losing for a team. We gotta move. We gotta move. We have, we have uh, Molly's on Killjoy. And notice, I don't know if this raise has nade right now, but if she did, it's unlikely that she would nade to stop this plant. Instead, generally raises will hold their nade when the bomb plant is suboptimal and they'll use the nade to retake because it's really easy to retake when the bomb plant is suboptimal they'll let it go down we'll see if she has nade or not 20 around Red main. can you hold this can you hold it a main Astro, I'll shoot off you. in the corner for main yeah yeah that plant's good Ryuzaki if you're talking B just that corner is exposed to have him one screens Elbow. Ryan. No, they don't have nade. Yes. Sheesh. Yeah, it's hard to emphasize how comfortable they are in this retake from Tenz's POV. But when the bomb's planted like this, it's really comfortable. Really comfortable. These angles become such um, less of a threat. Crazy, Razel. Best split duelist is Raze, hands down. We are only going to see Raze's on this map.